Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video and in today's video we are going to solve another question that came as a 4 marker in Math Kangaroo 2024 exam for grades 7 and 8. So let's get started with our today's video and if you will see this question, this question uh, we have seen in lower grades as well with less difficulty but yeah, we can solve with the same logic. So let's start with the today's question. Paula the penguin goes fishing every day and always bring back 12 fish for her two chicks. Okay, so we know from here that there are two chicks. Chick 1 and chick 2. Okay, and every day Paula the penguin brings 12 fishes, right? Now, each day she gives the first chick she sees seven fishes and the second chick five fish right so if she is seeing the first chick first so she will give seven fish to the chick and to the second chick she will give five okay in the last few days one chick has eaten 44 fishes so how many has the other chick eaten our main question is to find out how many fish the other chick has eaten. So let's assume over here in the last few days chick 1 has eaten 44 fish. Okay. We know 44 is neither divisible by 5 nor divisible by 7. Why 5 and 7? Because we can either give 777 fishes to chick 1 or 5555 fishes to chick one right we can only give seven or five not three not two not six okay it can only be given in the pair of seven or five right now what we are going to do is let's try to solve this question step by step starting with 44 we cannot directly divide it with seven or five correct so what i am assuming is on the first day, penguin has given seven fishes to chick one. Okay. Remaining will be 44 minus seven. That is going to be 37. Correct. Now, on second day, again, let's assume that Paula the penguin has given seven fish to chick one. Now the remaining will be 37 minus 7 that is 30. Correct. That is 30. Right. We will subtract from here 37 minus 7 that will be 30. Now what you can see. Previously I mentioned that 44 is neither divisible by 7 or 5. Right. So what we did we started subtracting 7 and 7 until we get a number which is divisible by 5. Correct? So what we can say from here is the first two days chick 1 has received 7-7 seven, seven fishes and for the rest over days she will get 5-5 five, five fishes because 30 is divisible by 5. Correct? So we know that 5 times 6 is 30, right? 5 is what? The number of fish Paula the penguin is given. And 6 is what? Number of days. That means for 6 days, this chick number 1 will get 5-5 five, five fish. In total making 30 fish. Got it? Now, we figured out, okay, how chick 1 has uh, received 44 fishes, right? First two days, 7-7 seven, seven, and then the rest 6 days, 5-5. Five, five. Correct. Now, the same thing we will do for chick 2 and then we will find out, okay, in total how many fish does chick 2 has eaten. Okay. So, on first day, if chick 1 has eaten 7 fish, that means chick 2 will eat five fish and same thing will happen for day two as well five fish correct 
if one chick is getting seven, so the other will get five, correct? And for the rest six days, chick two will eat, correct, seven. That will give us the total of 42, correct? So for the rest six days, chick two will eat 42 fish. In total, now we need to find out. So in total, we will add one, two, three, these three numbers. Five plus five, we know is 10, correct? And 10 plus 42 will be, correct, 52. That means if chick one has eaten 44 fish in the last few days, so chick two will eat 52 fish in the same number of days. So our correct answer is option D. Ta-da! Done! I hope it is clear. It is a good question. We need to start with the logic of subtracting 7 and 7, basically the highest number, until we get a number which is divisible by 5. Okay? And then we need to do the opposite thing for chick 2, right? So for example, on first day, if chick 1 has eaten 7 fish, so chick 2 will eat 5. And the same ways you can find out for other days as well. Add them up to find the total number of fish. And here we are done with our question number 14. I will be meeting you soon discussing another problem. But till then, if you haven't joined our WhatsApp community, so do join it. The link is in the description box below and the QR code will also reflect on the screen. You can scan it and you can join for valuable updates and daily challenges. I will be seeing you soon. Till then, keep learning. Bye-bye.